Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Ramadan for You TV. I'm Zainab Afsa. And I'm Alpasan Akunja. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick so my voice is gone. I guess it went on vacation without me. But I hope I get better soon. Hopefully. Can you guys believe it? We're halfway through Ramadan. But don't be going anywhere because we have 15 days left. And we're so happy to be with you guys. Let's start with Zikr of the day. Bismillah, in the name of Allah, we welcome you to today's Zikr. We are halfway through the month of Ramadan and we are feeling a bit sad that it is coming to an end. We pray that you spend your time wisely, learn a lot and feel blessed for reaching this beautiful month. You are probably in school and fasting at the same time. We are so proud of you. However, we know that you might be struggling to take care of stuff at home. Are you feeling a little overwhelmed by your room looking like a tornado hit? Wish you could magically make it clean? Poof, just like that. Well, guess what? There's a super cool secret that can make anything you do, cleaning, playing, eating, even easier for you. Today, we are learning a special zikir for starting something new. This zikir is Bismillah, or the longer version we are learning today, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Just like always, we will break down the word and see what it means. Bismillah means in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman means the most gracious, and Ar-Rahim means the most merciful. So, when we say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, we are basically asking Allah's blessings before we do something. It's like saying, Oh Allah, please make this a good experience and help me do it in a way that pleases you. Isn't that just amazing? With every step we take in life, we are asking Allah to make it easier and more beneficial for us. And He does that because He loves us so much. We say Bismillah because everything good comes from Allah. He is the one who created the food we eat, the friends we play with, and the sunshine that makes us smile. By saying Bismillah, we show that we are grateful for everything and that we want to use Allah's blessings in a good way. You should say this zikr before eating, when you need help with something, or even before you take a walk. We want you to use this zikr 100 times in a day, but say it before you start anything good. Zikr whispered, heart feels light, ready for adventures with all your might. Bismillah should always be at the beginning of everything we do. Considering Bismillah means uh, how grateful we are for everything. We will recite this zikr 10,000 times together. Now let's open our hands and hearts for daily dua. The world can feel dark and confusing at times. God up it. Guide me towards the light of your truth and illuminate my path with your divine wisdom. Grant me the ability to discern right from wrong and courage to follow the path you have laid out. May your light dispel the shadows of ignorance and doubt from my heart. Inspire me to be a source of light for others, sharing your message of love, mercy, and compassion. May my words and actions offer hope and guidance to those who are lost. Help me find inner peace and, tr and tranquility in your presence. Ya Nur, may your light be the guiding force in my life, leading me towards a brighter future. Amen. Amen. Thank you for this beautiful dua. Inshallah, we can all share Allah's message of love and mercy. Now we have Surah of the Day. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا فتحنا لك فتحا مبينا ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخذ Allah 
وَالَّذِي أَنزَلَ السَّكِينَةَ فِي قُلُوبِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ لِيَزْدَادُوا إِيمَانًا مَعَ إِيمَانِهِمْ وَلِلَّهِ جُنُودُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَنِيمًا حَكِيمًا What a great surah. Al-Fath, al, al, al meaning the victory, shows the great triumph that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had during that time <clears throat> in Hudaybiyah. Now let's go on to what you guys love the most, meme of the day. Is going amazingly well. Really? No, I'm lying. It's going pretty bad. And I'm struggling. By the way, I scanned your food and it comes to uh, a gazillion dollars. Oh my god, it's a T-Rex and a goldfish card. I just want the best for you. And I think that you deserve the world. Thank you. So that's really all I want. What? What? Hot diggity dog! This place is magnificent! An embarrassment of riches, as they say. No, 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 no! What's wrong with you? What do you know what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? No, what's wrong with you? No, what's wrong with you? It's my turn! It is, you told me it was my turn. You can talk all that you want hey, to, hey, yell and scream, hey, you're okay, lost. It is my you're turn. You lost the game. It's my turn. Sorry, I still have me tug dog here. Me tug dog here. Okay. Just action. In or out. Okay. Well, then I'm out. I'm sorry, Jet. Actually, you're already in. Then why would you ask me? Because I thought you would go, I'm in, Bob. We would have had a really cool moment, but uh, you kind of ruined the whole thing. I love it. I mean, I'm I'm so passionate about it, and it's what I do Your passion all the time. Oh, my gosh. I never thought this moment would come. This is the happiest day of my life. Oh, what did I say about touch if you don't I'm touch? I'm not touching you. I see a figure right there! I'm not touching you. Ma, can I kill her? My phone's dead. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. I would give myself, I would, look, I hate to do it, but I will do it. I would give myself an A plus. Is that enough? Can I go higher than that?
Memes were absolutely hilarious. Don't forget to write which one was your favorite in the chat. Now let's continue learning about Prophet Yusuf. Hi, I'm Talha and today we will be talking about the chapter 5 of Hazrat Yusuf Salam's life. In this chapter we will be learning about Hazrat Yusuf being proven innocent, his preference of prison over freedom to be saved from fitna, and his life in prison. <laughs> After Zuleyha tried to seduce Yusuf, he responded, It was she who tried to seduce me. Then, a witness from her household testified about the torn shirt, saying, If his shirt is torn from the front, then she speaks the truth, and he is of the liars. But if his shirt is torn from behind, then she has lied, and he is the one of the truthful. As it became evident that Yusuf's shirt was torn from behind, Al-Aziz was angered with his wife. Recognizing her deceit, he remarked, This is an example of the cunning of you women. Indeed, your cunning is great. And then he instructed Yusuf to forget about the incident and advised his wife to seek for forgiveness for her wrongdoing. Upon hearing about Zuleyha's actions, the women of the city gossiped about her attempt to seduce Yusuf, mocking her. They said, the wife of the Aziz is seeking to seduce her slave boy. He has impassioned her with love. Indeed, we see her to be in clear error. Zuleyha, seeking to justify her actions, invited these women to her place for a meal and had Yusuf brought into the room. Upon seeing Yusuf's beauty, the women were captivated and inadvertently cut their fingers while cutting fruit, remarking, this is not a human being, this is none but a noble angel. When Yusuf walked in the city streets, his beauty attracted the attention of women who were tempted by his appearance. Fearful of Allah, Yusuf sought refuge in his Lord and prayed to be protected from the cunning of these women. He prayed, my Lord, prison is more to my liking than that to which they invite me. But if you do not avert from me their plan, I might incline toward them and thus be of the ignorant. Allah responded to his prayer, protecting him from their schemes. Despite his innocence and righteousness, Yusuf was unjustly imprisoned for a period. He was stripped of his clothes, dressed in a garment made of hair and chained. As he entered the prison, Yusuf prayed for guidance and the angel Gabriel assured him that Allah had made a space for him to pray within the prison. Wow, what a great chapter. We learned about how Hazrat Yusuf ultimately kept his innocence by choosing imprisonment over freedom to keep himself from temptation. Now we'll be going on to Ramadan Dictionary where we'll be learning about Taraveh. This is Sami. This is Lily. Together, we will explore new words with Ramadan Dictionary. Hi everyone, today we will explore the letter T for Tarawi. Who? After eating and a bit of gameplay, my energy is still buzzing. Same here, Sammy. But guess what's next?
It's time for Tarawi, the last prayer of the day. And you know what? Tarawi is the longest prayer. There are 20 rakat. One day, I'll do all of them. It's something to work at. The night feels different during Ramadan with Tarawi, doesn't it? We pray together, side by side, our hearts whispering gratitude, and recite the Quran, seeking wisdom and peace. We strive to let purity shine in our hearts, forgiveness, kindness, and love. With a devoted heart and a soul well fed, we connect with Allah. Tarawi, a bridge between us and the divine. Afterward, I'm ready for bed, wrapped in peace. Now, let's go pray. Isha and Tarawi. Tarawi is a special prayer, a gift during Ramadan. I definitely agree. It's such a great great time being able to get together with everyone and pray Tarawih. Now on to Splash of Faith. What is the name of Allah that emphasizes His mercy towards the people most? A. Al-Malik B. Al-Aziz C. Al-Rahman D. Al-Hakim Al-Rahman! I press it first, I press it first. Okay. You can cut one up for <laughs> Which of the following is not a Sahaba? A. Hatija B. Hamza C. Harun Rashid D. Ali Girl, Ali <laughs> No Harun Rashid Yes, good No! <laughs> okay, third question which of the following is not the name of one of the children of our Prophet? A. Fatima B. Zainab C. Omar D. Rukia Zainab Nope uh, Can you repeat the questions? A. Fatima B. Zainab C. Omar D. Rukia Yes. Okay, next question. Prophet Muhammad encouraged the use of a tooth stick called A. Miswak B. Kalam C. Tasbi D. Duff. <laughs> Wait till you press first. A. Yeah, A is correct. <laughs> Next question. What nickname was Prophet Muhammad often called with? A. El Mutakebir B. El Emin C. El Hafiz D. El Mursi El Hafiz no. That was me. And you see? No. And you skip it. No. Oh. The other one. The other one. <laughs> oh my god. Let's pass that. Let's pass this question, guys. Okay. 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 One more question. What is the term for the prophetic tradition of using the right hand for actions like eating, giving, and receiving? A. Ikama. B. Itifag. C. Sunnah. D. Adab. Sunnah! Betu's hand was first. <laughs> yes! <laughs> they really should bring an umbrella to one of these. Now we have best segment of the program. Get your notes ready because it's Kahoot time. Good luck everyone. Good luck everyone.
right, is everybody ready for Kahoot? The pin is 8976960. I hope I hope we're going to have fun time today. If people didn't hear the code, it's 8976960. I'm expecting everyone to try their best. We're gonna be having an exciting Kahoot this time. I'm going to be giving you guys 10 more seconds, and then we're going to be starting this. So you better get in. All right, we're going to be starting this. Anybody else that's coming in, you better come in fast. All right. The first question is... When do we say Bismillah? Really important, guys. Talked about this. When should we be saying it? Before we, we leave the house, before eating beginning of most daily actions or all of the above which one do you guys think it is and it was all of the above you really have to say it at the beginning of everything really important shows us how grateful we are for everything all right first we have salim and then Fenerbahce, Yasemin, Emre, and Jay. All right, let's go on to the next question. What was the surah of the day? Atin, Al Fajir, Kuarish, or Al Feth? Which one do you guys think it was? Again, I was talking about this one. Hope you guys were listening. And it was Al Fit. All right. Oh, the whole score scoreboard moved up. Let's see. We got new people. Leila Gulen. We got Jesus, Fetus, Moro, Icardia, and Yasemin is still on the scoreboard. Hope to see all the people from before. All right, next question. What does Bismillah mean? We're adding on to the last question. What does it mean, guys? The most gracious, I seek forgiveness in God. If Allah wills it, in the name of Allah. And it was in the name of Allah. That was the meaning for Bismillah. All right, let's see the scoreboard. Oh, we lost one person, but we still have the same people. We got Jesus on top, Fatos, Moro, Icardi, Emre, and Jay back on the scoreboard. All right, next question. What was today's prophet of the day? We talked about how he gained, uh, showed his innocence by choosing imprisonment over freedom to avoid temptation. Who was he? Hazrat Isa, Hazrat Musa, Hazrat Suleiman, or Hazrat Yusuf? Which one was it, guys? And it was Hazrat Yusuf. All right, let's see. All right, the scoreboard stayed the same. Keep going, guys. 
We got a three streak player going. I hope to see all of you guys doing better. Next question. What does Ar Rahim mean? The most merciful, the best one, the most forgiving, the most lovable. I hope you guys took notes. And the answer was the most merciful. All right. Let's see. We got Fatos on top, Mori Cardi, Jesus, Mahid, and Bahar Halideh. All right. We got a real competition at the top. Let's see the next question. What was today's word for uh, for the Ramadan dictionary? Teravi, Tehijut, Tejut, or Tavba? Or Tevbe, Tevbe. What do you guys think it is? We talked about how we do it together, and it's really fun. Oh, and it was Teravi. Most of you guys got that right. Nice job, guys. All right. We got Bahar Halde going up top. Fatos is still on the top. Hafsa, Kaiso, and Moria Cardia. Nice job, guys. Let's keep it up. Last few questions left now. The first question in, in the Splash of Faith. What is the name of Allah that emphasizes his mercy toward, toward people the most? Ar-Rahman, Al-Malik, Al-Aziz, Al-Hakim. It was the first question to splash their faith, guys. Really easy to miss, but I hope you guys got it. Let's see who was paying the most attention. Oh, R and it was R Rahman. All right, scoreboard. Fatos doing really good. Keep it up. Kaiso, a person. Bahar Halde and Hafsa. All right, all the scores are really close by, guys. We can do this. Everybody has a chance at the, at the leaderboard. What is the term for prophet, prophetic tradition of using the right hand for action like eating, giving, and receiving? Ikama, adab, itikaf, or sunnah? What do you guys think it is? Especially the people on the leaderboard, you guys are really close to each other. You guys got this. And it was sunnah. Nice job, guys. All right. Barhalde past Kaiso. We got Fatos on top. Mario Cardia and a person. All right, guys. Let's keep it up. Last two questions. What exactly is Teravi? All of you guys should know this, hopefully. We sh we're doing it every day during Ramazan. So is it Sunnah af after every prayer? Prayer consisting of 20 rekas only during Ramadan, Eid Salah, or Kweza Salah. And it was a prayer consisting of 20 rekas. All right, next question. And the scoreboard say the same. Nice job, guys. It seems like all of you knew that. All right, let's go to the last question. Let's see. Is anybody going to mysteriously appear? Which toy was beside our fantastic host? Zainab and his son. Was it a fish, elephant, bear, or duck? I'll give you guys a little hint. It was fluffy. So, what do you guys think it was? We got last two seconds, and let's see who got it. It was an elephant. Nice job, guys. All right, let's see who's on the podium. Third place, we got Mario Cardi. Second place, we have Bahar Halde. And first place, let's see who we have. We have Fatos. Nice job, guys. Don't forget to take a screenshot. Uh, you guys did really well. And runners up, Hafsa and Kaiso. Nice job staying on the leaderboard. All right. See you guys all next time on Next Kahoot. Yeah, please don't forget to scan your screenshots to Kahoot at SkyAcademy.org. Don't forget to do that.
Congrats to winners of today. See you all tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Congratulations, everybody. We are at 7,999 subscribers right now. So let's hit that subscriber button down below and get to 8,000 today. Goodbye. I know we can do it. All right. Hope everybody has a great iftar and goodbye. See you guys next time at 6 p.m.